Hi, I'm Lima Milan, and in this video we're going to look at Ableton Live's MIDI Fold button. So when we're dealing with MIDI clips in Ableton Live, we have our normal chromatic keyboard here, and we can enter the notes that we obviously want to play, but depending on what we're wanting to do, sometimes we don't want all the notes to be available, and that's what MIDI Fold is about. If I just show you a quick demo of how it displays itself, I have three notes in this clip, and if I hit Fold, I only see those three notes available. So it creates lanes for the actual notes of the, the notes being used within the clip. So in context, the reason why that's actually quite a useful thing, it could be that this particular MIDI track I've got is actually feeding an external device. It could be like a drum machine where only certain notes of the drum machine are available to be used to trigger notes and the rest of them are just ignored. So if I have my actual preview button on here, I could find which notes are relevant for the kit. And I'll hear them being triggered by the hardware. And once I've done that, I can fold the track and then just highlight those notes and move them out of the way so they're not actually going to get played back until I want to sequence them. And then I can go in and just start actually sequencing my drum pattern in this case to my hardware. And it just becomes a really tidy way of working with a limited range of notes rather than seeing all of the notes available on a normal keyboard. So the other application of this would be, let me just delete that track, to try and predetermine what notes I want to use when I'm working with an instrument. So let's talk about scale and then use that as a system to make sure that the notes available in the editor are only within that given scale. So if I take off fold for a minute, and we just go for the simplest approach of creating a scale. So if I go from a C and I create all the white notes all the way up, I now have C major. It's a major scale and it starts at C. The intervals are correct for C major. So I'm just going to move all of these notes across. In fact, I'll use the Alt key and use the up and down arrow to move to the next note I want to select. I don't need to keep using the trackpad. Now if I only want to work within one octave in C major, I can press fold right now and I've only got the lanes available for those notes, but it makes more sense that I give myself more range to experiment with. So what I'm going to do this time is highlight all those notes, Command and D, create an octave below, move that across, then Command and D, down, create another octave below. And then maybe I need some more at the top. So Command and D, move an octave up. So I'm holding Shift and up again. Command and D, Shift and up, and put those back there. So I'm going to highlight all of those notes now, which is quite a few octaves of range, and move them just outside the actual playback area of the MIDI clip. Now if I press Fold, I'm now only left with the available notes for my C major across various octaves. So now what I can do, Let's just zoom in and just make the actual the vertical height a little bit easier to deal with here. And we'll anchor ourselves with C here. And then I can just go in and just solo this so we can hear it. duplicate that across and change my clip to be twice the length. And then if I've modified the notes, I know they're going to be within C major. They won't ever wander outside of that range. So that's why we're covering the MIDI fold button in this case. It's a really handy way of making sure you're only presented with whatever structure of notes that you want to create for yourself. So have a play with that. Load in the actual notes that are relevant for a given scale. And then when you've got enough octaves of them set up in the clip, move them to the side and then hit the fold button and you're left with only the relevant lanes for the given key and scale.